By this stage, I was on the home stretch, getting close to the spot where Forbes and Montgomery ended their ill-fated expedition. A few hours later, I came to a campsite Forbes called Long Tongue Creek, in honour of his partner, William Montgomery. It was here Montgomery was bitten by a deadly snake. Miraculously, Montgomery survived his run-in with this vicious viper. But he was lucky to survive, if my research into the subject proved anything. You know, when it comes to deadly reptiles, Australia certainly is ahead of the pack. Of the top 10 deadliest snakes in the world, the top four are found right here in Australia. Not only that, the toxicity of those top four is 20 times stronger than the bottom six combined. So to put that another way, if you were bitten by one of the top four from Australia, or God forbid all of them, you would die 20 times faster than if you were bitten by a snake from the bottom six from overseas. Not that you could be bitten by a snake from overseas in Australia. Imagine there were two snakes biting two different people at the same time. If you were in Australia, you would die 20 times faster than the person from overseas because the toxicity is a hell of a lot stronger than, than a, an overseas snake compared to an Australian one. So when it comes to dying from snake bite, Australia is number one. Not that that's a good thing, it's a bad thing, but if you are gonna get, not that you would wanna get bitten, you would do it, well, you wouldn't get bitten at all if you had the choice, but if you did, it's better that it happens overseas than not here in Australia, because they're very venomous. Of course, not all animals in the Aussie bush are dangerous, and in a survival situation, many of them could save your life. Luckily for me, the introduction of rabbits into this country means that catching yourself a feed in the outback is no longer all that difficult. They may be a pest to farmers and a nightmare for the environment, but the humble bunny makes the perfect bush tucker. It's just a question of poking around till you find a well-used burrow like this one. Fresh droppings are usually a giveaway. Then all you've got to do is set your trap and bury it at the entrance to the hole. That is in position. So if the rabbit comes in or out of this hole, we've got him. But as you know, rabbits have a number of entrances and exits to their burrow. So if you want some tucker, the best idea is to block them up. I'll just go do that now. Oh, oh. oh Aussie Adventures. Pack up your swag, let's go. Oh, Aussie Adventures. Oh, Aussie Adventures. Time to hit.